Hello everyone, this is SoulScared and welcome to another cast of OpenRA. This time is a 2 vs 2, uh, a game posted by uh, Nui on the forums. So thank you for Nui for posting these games. And um, Nui is a self-proclaimed newbie. So uh, this game uh, has uh, four players, uh, and neither of which I am familiar with. Um, I might have heard uh, a couple of these names before, but I'm not familiar with their player style or uh, their uh, level of experience. Uh, in addition to that, we have a map called Sunshine Valley. Valley. It is a map, quite big map, uh, with um, uh, lots of debris and stuff in it. So, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, game is played out. So here it is. All right, so uh, I'm going to be learning them at this map uh, as it goes. It does have uh, oil lyrics in the middle to contend for, as well as a huge ore patch, both north and south. Uh, to the left side we have uh, additional oil lyrics for one for each player, and uh, lots of ores uh, around these players as well. And uh, here's Nui playing as allied, He's going to reposition his MCV wisely to a spot which has lots, lots of ore. His teammate is Lerouex, Leroy, I think it's French, I'm not sure, uh, playing as Soviet in the uh, brighter green. To the right we have, let's see, that's uh, White Tiger playing in black as Soviet and his teammate in the pink is GIB Waker playing as Allied. So um, yeah, I guess uh, in such a huge map like this, uh, with all these choke points, these choke points um, uh, would favor uh, a uh, sort of uh, air fleet uh, tactic. Just uh, getting control of the uh, map will be important as uh, as to scouting and uh, controlling the map. So um, let's see what uh, strategy these players are choosing for us. Alright, so Nui is pointing out to his teammate to put out his uh, ore refinery there. Uh, he has built his own, own ore refinery here as well, and his next building is a barracks. He's going to be able to take control of the oil lyrics as quick as possible. Le Le Roi has built his uh, ore refinery first and has moved his MCV forward to take control of this ore patch. The right side, oh, excuse me, the right side uh, doing the same. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a War factory first or a second ore refinery? Um, we'll find out soon enough. Getting some troops out as well. Uh, and with an engineer, so uh, he is definitely going to try to capture the middle uh, oil lyrics as quick as possible. Ah, it's a second ore refinery for a GIB. Uh, but on a map such as this, uh, two ore refineries for White Tiger as well. Uh, as I was going to say, on a map on maps uh, which has such huge areas, it's long, a it's long way to your opponent. Uh, a war factory first would not be uh, that uh, that uh, stupid of a move because uh, you're going to have a long time before any confrontation is taking place, and you will have time to just start out uh, uh, your ore truck production right away. But neither player uh, on each side is choosing this. Uh, option. Um, here's the first war factory of Nui. He's going to of course uh, get his uh, war factory first. Uh, I mean his ore truck first. Oh excuse me, he did not build uh, two ore refineries first. So uh, he's the only one who's uh, taking this uh, economical move. Uh, well done by him. Uh, Lirax, Lerwa. He's taking a uh, flint over here, protecting his uh, his side, but uh, the left side uh, does not uh, does not produce any significant uh, infantry to try to take the middle. Here is an engineer from Lioua, together with a small group of infantry, but they should be moving out into the middle as quick as possible, as uh, the left side, I mean, excuse me, the right side has already as well already positioned himself uh, more or less in the middle. Okay, here comes an engineer. Oh, it's going to be taken down. Oh, that's unfortunate, and uh, that means that this oil lyric will be still in position of uh, GIB. Okay, uh, <laughs> and a medic 
coming here as well. Alright, and a small group uh, is coming here as well to... To... Oh, that's uh, oh, that's uh, White Tiger's Grenadiers, going to be countered by uh, Newbies uh, Rangers. Oh, that's unfortunate, but I do not think that that would uh, impact the game that much. It's too far to their opponents. Okay, so the right side has taken control of the middle, uh, definitely, with the uh, already positioned uh, infantry and such. And keeping in reinforcing this uh, this area. Um, GIB is taking up to Radar Dome and uh, is getting his uh, helipad quick. This is important because uh, helis will be uh, important uh, uh, throughout the entire game. Uh, White Tiger, uh, I assume this is a Radar Dome as well. Uh, but uh, his ore refinery is too far away from the ore patches as well and uh, should just start focusing on uh, ore trucks. Which it does not, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and GIB. Uh, same problem, he has a ore refinery but it's already... Uh, already have a problem with ore, it should be moving that immediately. Uh, of course they have taken a position in the middle here, but uh, they do need uh, to to fix this uh, as the first priority of their main base. Left side, uh, good uh, ore refinery positioning. Uh, ooh, very good uh, ore or refinery positioning here and uh, production of ore trucks by Newey. So uh, the left side, even though they had to uh, concede the middle part, um, is standing much much stronger than the right side economically. So um, yeah, they do have an advantage, uh, really a big advantage. They are also building a uh, sort of mix of uh, of uh, units here: a rifle infantry, armored personnel, vehicle, and a flat truck. So I'm sure that they want to eventually go into the middle and contest for the middle as well. And of course, n neither player has scouted their opponent's base, but uh, without uh, significant air fleet, that is uh, that is difficult. Would prefer to see like at least one hind go over here and just try to find out to what uh, their opponents are doing. Okay, artillery is coming out for Newy here. He's going to uh, group up together with uh, his main army, I would assume. Um, okay, White Tiger is now uh, repositioning his uh, MCV, uh, I would guess... Okay, now it's going to go down here and uh, repositioning his ore refinery. This, this placement of the ore refinery and ore harvesters is really, uh, it's really punishing the right side. Because uh, the... Uh, I mean the... Excuse me, where is the... Uh, there it is. I mean, the econ difference is, uh, oh, look at this, uh, cash flow difference. It's, uh, Newey has, uh, he has uh, 8,000, 9,000 cash flow uh, for the time being. Newey has eight harvesters, which is more, more than all the other players combined. And you can see the difference it does not really matter that they, uh, the right side has taken the middle part. Newey can uh, outproduce uh, all the players. Uh, <laughs> Combined, not bad for a self-proclaimed uh, newbie though. Very nice, very nice play indeed. Leroy has built his uh, tech center. Uh, I believe that is the first tech center of the game. Newbie has built a uh, service depot, and I believe that is for uh, uh, his first uh, MCV. And uh, he is also going to scout that uh, GIB has indeed put up a construction vehicle there. A very good spread of hinds here by GIB, but uh, they, uh, they they need to they need to take care of their economy because uh, no matter how no matter how well positioned they are in the middle, which is looking kind of thin when you compare it to the uh, to the army now is massing for the left side. It's going to have a big problem coming into the middle and uh, the middle and uh, late game. Yeah, now finally a well-positioned ore refinery is coming up for uh, GIB Waker, but uh, the clock is ticking against them. They cannot, uh, they cannot live like this. Um, 
especially when uh, you have newbie here with a huge uh, econ advantage. Of course, if every player is playing uh, at the same level, like everybody is, everybody just uh, having fun, uh, just having a couple of ore harvesters and just uh, uh, just uh, playing casually. Uh, but this time, uh, the uh, the teams are uh, very uneven uh, at this moment. Let's uh, have a look at the uh, harvester count. Yeah, still, he's about. Uh, <laughs> it's about as much as uh, all the other teams combined still. Hmm. Alright, so... Um, what this means is uh, as long as uh, Nui and uh, Lerox is, uh, is working together, they will have a... They should not have any problem taking this game. There's not much else happening for the right side. The left side now has uh, taken the... Uh, Taking the tech advantage with the tech center from Nui, which will provide a satellite in seven minutes and a uh, atomic bomb for um, for Lirwax. So well, this is sort of looking like a checkmate uh, from the left side here. Oh, that's a lot of rocket soldiers, and they. I was going to say they will possibly lose uh, every soldier to the artillery. Uh, but the Heinz is going to put a stop for that. So uh, with this attack, artillery behind the uh, rocket soldiers, uh, it's going to be able to perhaps just take out this army or and this base. Uh, these flag trucks is coming in to try to intercept, but they're going to be immediately destroyed by this uh, rocket troops army. And that means that uh, <laughs> Lerox's uh, big and good mix of units army going to come in from behind and just uh, push back the right side. Now he's going to be uh, forced to read the position his uh, MCV. And it's uh, most likely just going to keep pushing perhaps all the way to their base because there's not much else happening for the right side unfortunately. Uh, White Tiger is now currently having a problem with power. Putting Tesla coils here is not unfortunate. Fortunately for him it's not a good investment as uh, the action is going on in the middle as well as the funding should be should be spent on more ore trucks more ore harvesters and uh, they have this huge area here which they have not taken advantage of yet which Nui did this is the same area on the opposing side uh, with a swarm of ore trucks already harvested out this area is now looking to, uh, I would assume, to move in and take this position now. Now that the uh, back end of their base is um, more or less mined out. <sighs> Ouch. So yeah, yeah. Now they can just reposition here and uh, just uh, sort of checkmate them into into going into the later game with a significantly less uh, economy. Also lost their uh, oil lyrics in the middle, of course. No, it was destroyed. And this was this as well. Well, it's not like they needed it. Ah. Alright, so five minutes until the A-bomb comes up. And look at this. There's a big difference here. Okay, there's also this area up here, which they have not uh, taken advantage of, but instead of going for this area, they, uh, they uh, just want to start out on this area right here. And uh, that is the best... Uh, choice because uh, you are con contesting for these middle parts and if you can harvest out this first and uh, if the game is uh, for some reason dragged on dragged out to the late game you can later in the game go back and take this or patch so this is sort of like a reserve uh, for the late game since they are taking this uh, this middle position here so uh, lots of finds is, has been built up and uh, have a they are having a good view of uh, of the right side. It's not going to be surprised by any attack. And uh, together with the tech, the GPS satellite is coming up in uh, three and a half minutes and the nuclear bomb is coming up right after it. So immediately after they will have revealed their opponent's buildings, we'll be able to send out a nuclear bomb to an appropriate, uh, to an appropriate uh, location. So yes. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure what else to say about this game. Uh, White Tiger is fo currently focusing on a army, but uh, uh, Nui will be able to outproduce him uh, by 
by, by I don't know two or three times with the amount of economy it does have. I have stripped out his uh, econ uh, area here, but I assume with his aggressive uh, econ policy will be repositioning his uh, ore trucks quickly. Ah, here comes three of them already. Um, <laughs> even forward uh, helipads here to keep just pumping out Heinz and uh, there's no longbow in this game uh, at the moment which would be very valuable to take out Heinz uh, for uh, either player. It's going to uh, just patrol around here making sure that the right side is uh, uh, held back. And here comes the small push from uh, White Tiger with his uh, with his uh, army, together with the uh, GIB, might be able to push back some sort of attack coming now. A very strong push, but uh, this attack is coming in a line, and that means oof, it's going to lose a lot of Heinz, and possibly also his uh, artillery. Ooh, he's flanking with Heinz as well. It's going to lose um, probably every artillery out here, and uh, with the exception of two damaged ones. But still, uh, this attack here is sort of like a, a lackluster lackluster attack and I'm not sure what words to say but uh, I believe that is because they do know that they are far uh, far ahead and so they probably just thinking ah oh, that's just what the hell let's just a move uh, our <laughs> our units uh, across the map because we are already this far ahead but that uh, gives the right side the opportunity to to buy some time to perhaps come up with uh, some sort of a plan but I don't see the plan <laughs> at the moment GIB has uh, finally taken uh, position on his uh, reserve uh, ore here uh, with a decent amount of ore trucks finally but it might be uh, well it is uh, actually way too late also an A-bomb is coming up for Nui so the right side has two A-bombs now one minute until the GPS satellite is coming on and that uh, should be the nail in the coffin uh, to make the right side uh, give up, more or less. A very interesting map though, uh, does favor of course uh, base building and uh, air units, so um, I personally favor uh, like big open maps where you can move, uh, move your units, your tanks and units, whatever, across, uh, across big fields and uh, sort of like patrol your units around. You can't do that um, uh, too much with this kind of map, but it can still uh, produce some interesting games. Here's the Missile Salu by Newbie. And some AA guns. Um, not much anti-air here for, uh, for GIB. It's going to push out some, uh, some CVs now. Uh, could move up here, perhaps? No, that's not... Uh, it's going to be too weak of a move, but uh, it's... Uh, MC here. It's going to move back here. Might just keep his M this MCV here, just to maybe get up a couple of AA guns. And keep this MCV here, just to protect this area, but... Uh, we all know that this game more or less looks like uh, it's just waiting to be completed so we're going to see how this how this next nuke is going to be placed and see how it goes from there so we have 30 seconds the GPS satellite has already been launched and now the right the left side can see where the uh, structures of their enemy has been positioned so of course you can try maybe attack uh, the small groups of uh, the army from GIB perhaps place it there Perhaps here on White Tiger's base. I guess we're gonna see. 10 seconds to the lunch. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And. Let's see when this A bomb is coming because uh, they have plenty of options. Plenty of time, look at this army. It's a very good mix of army here. It's a very good mix of uh, APCs uh, and lots of uh, troopers. Normally you see more rifle infantry, but with the APC, certainly there are, um, certainly there are um, enough uh, anti-riflemen in this army. 
Here, okay, so this nuke is coming here. Okay, he's going to move his army and try to get away, but I don't think that's enough. <laughs> Only getting away with one light tank, so that demolished the entire army of GIB. Unfortunately, uh, uh, you get to see the beacon from your opponent's nuke, but they did not react in time to move his uh, force uh, away. And as a reaction to that, the attack is commencing from the left side. Uh, we'll go straight for the uh, construction yard right away. Um, but the artillery here is lagging a little bit behind, so the, uh, the right side will be able to uh, actually... Well, at least put some damage to the left side's army. <laughs> Very chaotic. Uh, one mammoth tank in behind here to participate in the match. All this artillery is now finally coming up ahead, but they have actually lost most of their frontal army. So if... Uh, oof, and it's actually going in, in the front to die. So the right side actually have now the opportunity to just take out this entire artillery uh, range. Perhaps with a single uh, ranger. Oh, here comes a longbow. It's going to definitely take out this artillery. And um, yeah, this attack is going to be stop. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the left side sort of, sort of carelessly just uh, went right into it, but uh, that doesn't matter. Oh, here's Tanya. Ah, it's going to die. Ugh. Alright. Well, excuse me guys, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure what else to say here. I think uh, the left side knows they are uh, very much ahead. The right side does not have an, uh, does not have an uh, GPS. They have no idea about this basis right here. They don't know, well they should expect uh, something to be up here. But uh, other than that they have uh, have about no information about their opponents so uh, as far as they know they are uh, they are uh, more or less in the game but uh, as we can see they definitely is not unfortunately so the game uh, unfortunately a little unbalanced but uh, yeah well played by a newbie uh, getting his ore trucks up uh, early in the game uh, ensuring him an uh, a uh, Economical advantage, and just making sure that the right side uh, could not uh, really come back. Lots of longbows here for GIB, uh, but they should use them to scout more. You know, it's uh, it's nice to have a perimeter to to look for incoming attacks. But um, if you do not know what uh, what your opponent is doing, uh, you're going to come in uh, with a going to get into trouble later in the game. Small harassment here from uh, longbows from um, Nui. And, um, yeah. Uh, normally, I want to do some close ups uh, like this with double pixeling so we can zoom into the battlefield. It does look more, does look better like this, but uh, in, in maps such as this, big maps and uh, the unfamiliarity I have with the map sort of makes me want to uh, have a bigger. Uh, and better overview of the map when I review games such as this. So that's why um, I do uh, tend to uh, sort of zoom out like this. More or less, but I will try to zoom in as much as possible. Look at this uh, good mix of units and uh, seems like the uh, <laughs> the job of making artillery has been designed, has been delegated to uh, Nui and uh, the rest of the uh, frontal army has been delegated to Le Roi. Le Roi. Will they attack now or will they attack later? Let's find out. Oh, here's a small uh, insurgency by uh, by Nui here to harass the behind the back of the base of uh, White the Tiger. But I will go ahead and fast forward the game a little bit. Oh, here comes the attack though. Um, without the artillery, so they should not really do this. They should just... Uh, should at least attack together or else this frontal army will uh, suffer uh, heavy damage to this uh, to this group right here but anyway I'm going to fast forward the game a little bit because uh, we both know you and me we know that this game uh, should not uh, go any 
anywhere else in uh, rather than the, to the left side's favor. Another Tanya coming out. Very cute. Alright, let's just go max. <laughs> it's a little choppy, but as we can see... This game should be more or less over. Uh, excuse me for not following up this game. Too, too heavily this, but... Uh, too heavily, but... Uh, I do not want to waste uh, too much of your time. To pretend that this is exciting game. But here comes the attack. Uh, and this attack should uh, just completely destroy the base of GIB without much uh, without much resistance. Uh, as you saw, the nuke uh, from uh, Nui also destroyed most of the uh, White Tiger's base. Very nice mix of units here. Okay, GG is uh, said by GIB Walker. GG said by Niwi. So that means uh, they finally considered the game. But a uh, good game nevertheless. Uh, a good, uh, good lesson for players uh, who want to improve the game. Very important with the ore trucks early game. Very important. Uh, Niwi was the only one who uh, sort of opted for that early game. Especially uh, if you want to do early attacks, you can can go ahead and just make a couple of ore trucks and just focus on your, uh, your own your units but um, on big maps such as this you have to focus on the economy you have uh, literally no choice in that matter but uh, thanks for Nui for sharing this game and uh, thanks for anyone who's watching these games as well I uh, really appreciate it and keep sending those replays on the forums and I will do my best to cast as many of them as possible so uh, thank you for watching this is so scared and I see you later